questions, anything that you want to explore. say it and I've heard other teachers say it too is the way <clears throat> the way out really of the me is kind of into your feelings like your emotions and your feelings that are arising and uh, just wonder if you could expand on that a little mm-hmm. bit because it seems like the more I do this more and more stuff comes up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. So yeah Just to to clarify what uh, I mean by feelings, when I use the the term feelings. So when you contemplate a feeling, you will find that there is simultaneously a bodily sensation and a me story, thought, some kind of tale, a me tale. I feel hurt, why did he or she do that to me? How dare they speak to me this way? So there is a a feeling, a feeling of being hurt or a feeling of being angry feeling of being envious, etc. That when you examine it, when you contemplate it, it has two components. A neutral bodily sensation, because all bodily sensation at their at their core, when you don't add the me story, before you add the me story to it, then it's just a bodily sensation, maybe in the chest, in the throat, it may be a heat, a, a, a sense of uh, hotness in the in the face. And then the me story, how they, they do they dare to do this to me? Is usually a tendency when we are not contemplating the self when we're not contemplating the truth, when we're not contemplating the reality, there is a tendency for that story to sort of, you know, go into various branches and before you know it there is a labyrinth and every every time the the thought goes into, well, you know, I was really nice to them last week, I invited them to dinner and this is how they dare treat me. The, the bodily sensation is is maintained at the, as a feeling, as as a. It does not come to the neutrality of being just a pure neutral bodily sensation. It maintains. It remains as a feeling. And as the feeling is not contemplated, the sense of me is maintained me and of course it's always me and another me and him me and them me and they me and my mother etc my parents my my, the people i work with the person in my office whatever so it's important to understand that that simple understanding that a feeling is a neutral bodily sensation plus a thought, a thought that has a me and another in it, is an important understanding. 
what also is helpful in looking at feelings is to also contemplate what is this me and this other in a way we have inherited sort of a me you know oh, you are Magdi this and that you know cute C or whatever you know and, and it goes on and on before you before we know it there is it's quite a structure of memories and identifications and preferences and images that that compose this this me and, and there's a f f me feeling that I feel like I'm this me it's important to contemplate that this whole structure that we refer to as me both at the thinking level memories and images and at the feeling level are not what I am why are they not what I am because they appear to me they I perceive that the sensation this me sensation what is it that perceives the me sensation see the me cannot perceive the me there is it's the sensation doesn't perceive itself this is something that perceives the sensation which we refer to as I I know that I am this and that and that and that you see? so this there is something that perceives the story that perceives the sensation that perceives the persona that perceives the image. This is why in meditation, in many practices, they, there is a sitting in stillness. No movement, you know, sitting in stillness. Because when you are sitting in stillness, there, in a certain, uh, for a certain period of time, let's say, you start to see these thoughts, these images and these sensations. You start to see them. And at some point, there is the question of what is it that's seeing them? You see. So it's important to come to an understanding that these feelings are appearing to what is it that's perceiving them? I am. What is this I? So you're coming to awareness. Because the I that perceives is not a body. Body is an instrument that can perceive colors, that can perceive shapes, that can perceive sensations. You know, in the intricacy of the brain, whatever, you know, the, we can perceive changes in temperature, can perceive changes in pressure, etc. It's a very intricate instrument. So, but it's just an instrument, but what is it that perceives? You see, it's an important contemplation that what perceives is not the instrument. The instrument is a means, is a tool for I for the consciousness to play to enjoy to celebrate perceiving a form you see why not you see? so coming back to the con to, to the contemplation of feelings so there is the understanding that feelings are neutral bodily sensation and the me story. And then there is the understanding of the contemplation that I am not a me, that I am consciousness. So when you join these two contemplations together, you come to consciousness witnessing bodily sensations, witnessing a me story, me and another, me and the other story. And also witnessing the unhappiness that comes with a me and a her or a me and him. Oh, I like him, I don't like her, him, I don't like her, I like him. Yeah. Yeah. There is an unhappiness that comes with that. And it's, 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 it's felt and consciousness can perceive this unhappiness. You see? And because at our core, we love happiness. So intelligence, which is inherent to consciousness, goes, oh, that's an unhappy game. I'm 
not going. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. So, coming back to your question in terms of being open to your feelings or feel your feelings or uh, be sensitive to your feelings, I usually do not talk that way. Because feelings, in a way, are a dime a dozen. Really, you could feel 20, 30 feelings during the day, or sometimes even more, you know. It's possible that you feel all sorts of feelings, which are like a me, oh, this, and oh, goodness, why, the, you know, how come they doing this, and oh, gee, uh, I thought, you can spend your whole day with all sorts of, of, of feelings. So you open yourself to the feelings, you feel your feelings, you allow your feelings. I don't know what that means. Because a feeling is, when it arises, it's there, whether you like it or not. But what's important is to contemplate, what is it that's there? What is it that's what's happening? What is it, just out of curiosity, something is happening, what is it that is happening? What is it that's happening? There is a me story, an I and you that's on deck, that is believed in, meaning I, at that moment, I have sort of chosen to forget that I am not a body-mind. I've chosen to identify as this body and how dare you walk in and not smile at me. <laughs> how dare you not to greet me the right, whatever. Yes? I have chosen to identify with the body-mind and therefore identify you as another, uh, me and the other. And inevitably, what comes with that identification are all sorts of feelings and emotions, which are feelings on steroids. We all know them, we all, you know, these, these peaks in feelings. Now, in the absence of feelings, meaning when more or less all is well, I'm not thinking about somebody wrong speaking to me wrongly or uh, acting in a way that is displeasing to me, in the absence of a feeling. There isn't, it's not necessarily peace and happiness. Why? Because I still have not come to the knowing of myself. There is a hum, there is a, a background, a me feeling background. It's not a feel. It's a, it's a me sense. It's a sense of me in the space. You see, it's a me sense of me. So there is a sense of me, a sort of a general sense of me, a general malaise, and then there are feelings, and then there are emotions. That's in the body-mind realm. Consciousness is not in that realm at all. Consciousness is the realm of peace, beauty, love and happiness, joy, freedom. Which is our true nature, what is referred to as the true I, the true self. And the true self is beingness eternal beingness. It's eternal beingness. It's what the, the true I and the me sense and feelings and emotions are beingness forgetting itself in a way. And in order to experience the emotions and feelings and the world of multiplicity. It forgets itself. And in forgetting itself, 
it identifies. It, 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 it's not a true activity, it's not an actual change. In not, it's not that consciousness becomes a person. Because consciousness is, is not in the realm of the phenomenal realm. I prefer to talk about it as a dream. It's like dreaming that you are somebody among many bodies in the world of form. And as soon as you dream that you are somebody and there are others, the way the game is played is that the, the game of limitations. Because every form is in time and space. The impression of time and space, the mentation. Time and space are a mentation. The mentation of time and the mentation of space. Because okay. we never experience change. We never experience change. We only experience eternity. There is a thought that arises that says, oh, uh, this was blue, now it's green, so it has changed. But that thought that is being experienced is being experienced in the eternity of now. Because we never experience two different, two, two different events in a way to say, oh, yeah, this, this, this is this, and now it's that. It's changed. It's just a thought. There is a thought that we're experiencing now that says, "Oh, I've grown." For example, I, I was a twelve-year-old boy. I was six. I was five foot two, and now I'm five foot twelve, or whatever, five foot ten. Yes, that's a thought. We don't. We don't experience. Uh, anyways, I, I'm going too far with your question. Uh, so that's that's the that's the. No, I know what you're saying. I mean, <clears throat> every thought of the past or whatever is happening right now. Even though the thought makes it seem like there was a past. Yes. It's right now is the only. It's yes. Just a thought about that. Yes, it's just a so thought. There's no past. There is no past. There's just a thought. There is a, a thought of what of it. The past or whatever we have memories. A thought. Or there is a thought. Right. A thought of a th what do you mean a thought of it? It was a past. thought. It's a thought. You say okay, what, what past? when I was younger. It's a thought. It's a thought. There is a thought. So there's no real past. There is a thought. Yes. There is a thought that arises. That happens now. There is a thought. Or not. But the thing about the emotions is that <clears throat> Oh, okay, so if emotions are arising, uh -huh. you know, I have a story that yeah. it's clearing. You know, because I was clearing. So if it's clearing, just re <clears throat> the advice would be maybe just to remember who's seeing the clearing or who's mm -hmm. witnessing the clearing or what is witnessing it or you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. instead of thinking I'm a me having emotions. Well, you know, if witnessing. you are interested in something clearing, then you're still interested in your person. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So you are in the clearing business. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're, a gar yeah. you're a garbage man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> garbage men are in the clearing business. Right, right, right. <laughs> Why are you interested in the clearing business? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know any other... I mean, I'm not interested in it, but... It seems like that's what's happening. What's happening? Emotions come up, and I'm not. I mean, I be a me. I, I identify with them. Okay. When I say, "Oh, what? I'm having an emotion. Yes. I'm clear." Absolutely. When this an emotion thing. comes up, yeah. When an emotion comes up, there is a me on steroids right there. Yes. You know, and at that moment, really, when an emotion is is coming up, there isn't much to do because usually emotions are uh, they have a certain intensity. You have to sort of wait for the storm to pass, anyway. If it's you know yeah. an emotion, 
uh, but at some point you can contemplate what was going on you know what was going on is you took you took your personhood uh, you gave your personhood importance is that you you're giving your personhood yeah. importance like oh I'm so important yeah. what is this this I that is important It has to be me, the person. Yeah. I'm me, the person. I'm important. You mean I'm, I'm me as a person, right? Yeah. So when you contemplate what is this me as a person, what is your experience of the person? When you're experiencing yourself as a person, what are you experiencing? Thoughts of me, I guess. Okay, you're experiencing a thought. Yeah. Thought what is it that's experiencing the thought? Consciousness. I. 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 I mean, consciousness, I, yes. I'm focusing on the me aspect as yeah. opposed to the consciousness aspect. Well, right. So, so you're, mistake, you're, 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 you're mistaking yourself to be some, some image, some thought. Yeah. Everybody's doing that, and it's yes. like a nightmare, man. Yes, it is. Yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> so focus on the consciousness? Absolutely. Why do you want to be like this, and this person is trying to be that, and then they shift. Suddenly, they, they feel different. So focus on the consciousness. Have you ever been with people who like they they shift? You know, one one day like they feel like this, and next day you don't know how to please them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because their thoughts, their thoughts keep shifting. Now it's this way, and now it's this other thought that's appearing, and then that other thought they're appearing. Because in fact, they're looking within their thoughts for their happiness. So they try this thought that doesn't work. Oh, now it's that thought that doesn't work. Now it's this thought that doesn't work. You yeah, see? You never, you never, never please me ever through right. thought. As as images, you know, you take yourself to be some 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 image, and now you this image has to has to be happy. Yeah. What kind of this is mental? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> So don't do that. So An focus image, on consciousness. That's what you are. Yeah. What What are you? I mean, you have to ask yourself. You don't you know? Ask myself what is, I am. What? Well, doesn't it make sense? Yeah. It, it makes sense to me to ask myself what am I? I mean, it's a simple question. What am I? To myself, I'm asking this to myself. What am I? Just, just to myself. Before I freak out with, uh, on her or on you or on him, I ask myself, wait a minute, what am I? what's going on? What am I? I ask myself, what am I? Before, because what is going to freak out is I, right? I'm going to freak out. Yes. But before, what am I? Before I freak out. So wait a minute, what am I? Okay. Now, I could take myself to be somebody. But before I take myself to be somebody, what is this myself? What is this self that I'm going to make now the self to be this person that should not be talked to in a certain way? No, don't talk to me that way. I mean, before I take on that persona, what is, what is it that's going to take on that persona? So I ask myself, what am I? What am I? What is, what is it that's asking this question? What is it that asks the question... What am I? Yes? So I am asking, what am I? I'm ask, I ask, what am I? I'm asking, what am I? So I is asking, what is I? I am I. I, I. I, I. I as what? I as nothing. Why add as something? Just I. It, it, I know we. It, it, the the mind says, "What are you talking about? It's got to be as some. It's got to be something. I mean, tell me, elephant, pig, uh, bird. Does it tell me? Some? No. We we have to sort of tell the mind. Just 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 relax. We kind of come to you in a minute. I just have to sort of talk to the mind. Say, just relax. We're just staying with I. Just I. Can I just stay with I? without any add-on, without any add-on. Why not? Because there is I. Yes? The I-ness. I know I am. OK? 
clean then I say, oh, okay, but I'm a woman, or I'm a man. Before, before that, I know I am. So you just, why don't you, you just stay with I. Yeah. And then you can say, well, wait a minute, everybody's I. <laughs> and in my experience of I, when I say I, like right now, I, does it exclude this perception? No. I can say I, and I say, well, wait a minute, this I in includes this perception. You follow? Yes. So basically focus on the I before anything. No, no, no. Just, just, oh. do you follow that when I say I, oh. I just say right now, I say I, I say I, it includes this perception. Don't look for, a, for, for a, you're looking for some sort of method. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go home. I want you to go home empty-handed. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> with nothing, okay? It's just when you say I right now, the question is, does it include this perception? Just ask yourself. Is this perception apart from I? When I say I, just I. You say I. Does, when, when I say I, does it exclude the breath? When I say I, is anything excluded? You could ask yourself this question. Anything excluded? I. Just look. Anything? Nothing is excluded. Thought can arise. Still I, an itch may arise, still I, yes? Somebody says, oh, you're stupid, you're speaking nonsense, still I, it's included. That the beauty about I, Somebody can say, you're really stupid. You're saying stupid things. And it's included. There's no issue. It's I. There's no issue. <laughs> Thank you.